Hey guys, I'm in the kitchen again. <laughs> you know, your girl loves to be in the kitchen. All right, so what am I doing tonight? Making brownies. Not from scratch, honey. We got Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge Brownie Mix. That's what we're using. All you have to do is add two eggs, three tablespoons of water, and two thirds cup of vegetable oil. Put your oven on 325. And I already oiled my pan. I got just an 8x8 eight eight, uh, baking pan. And the only thing I'm doing different to this batter is I'm adding walnuts. And I thought this time I'm going to put some mini marshmallows in here. I kind of looked up the recipe. Uh, I had Alexa find it for me. <laughs> so I'm going to put a few of these uh, mini marshmallows in here. I just want to see how it's going to turn out. I like to experiment with food, okay? I like to experiment with food. Wait a minute, let me get it. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to try to incorporate these marshmallows in here. This batter, I don't know why, appears to be really thick to me. I put everything they said put in here, but I may not have put enough oil in there. I think I'm gonna put another, I think I'm gonna put a little oil in here. So my oven is already at 325. As I said before, I got my Duncan Hines brownie mix. Oh, and guys, <clears throat> this brownie mix, I don't know if your Dollar Tree has it, but right now, my Dollar Tree has it. And when they have good stuff like this, I buy it, okay? I stock up on it. I had a taste for uh, some Bluebell ice cream. And my husband was going to the store. And I said, babe, would you pick me up some ice cream? I love their vanilla homemade. Homemade vanilla. <laughs> I hope it's saying stuff backwards. Homemade vanilla. Um... It's so good if you haven't tried it. And I thought, oh, wow, that would be great with some brownies. So that's why I decided tonight to go ahead and mix up this luscious brownie batter. You can see it with the marshmallows and the nuts in there. I, I'm, I don't know why. I just want to add a little bit of water to this. It just seems like it's so thick. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. I put the three tablespoons of water in there, like I said. But you know what? That's what cooking is all about. A lot of times, you have to feel your food. And if it doesn't feel right, it's like making things with dough. You know, the dough has got to have the right consistency for you to get that good loaf of bread or that great biscuit. You've got to feel it. Or making pie crust from scratch. You gotta, it's gotta have a certain feel. Anyway, these feel thick to me. And they're chewy brownies anyway. And it could be because, I think I just discovered it. I added the nuts and the marshmallows. That's why this batter is so thick. Okay. But I'm gonna stir it up. I just added maybe like a fourth of a cup of water to what I already had. You can't even see what I'm doing, but that's all right. I'm going to uh, do my camera like this. You won't see me, but you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I got my pan here. I'm going to go ahead and put the batter in there. Ooh, that looks good. It looks so good. These might come out more cakey than chewy with me adding these ingredients and this extra water. I don't know, but we are gonna see the final product in my next video. <laughs> okay guys, all right, I'll be back. 
a part two of this chewy brownie uh, recipe. You guys have a great night. I'll see you in my next video. All right, this is Cheryl. I am signing out. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.